Welcome to my opinion here on my opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning, upon the hearing of my voice, as long as you are able to hear my voice, it means you have a lot to give God thanks for. So many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up this morning and are not numbered among the living. So as long as our eyes are open, whether we are struggling or we got health issues, there's so much to give God thanks for. Now this morning we want to talk about two incidents. One, a man was shot in St. Elizabeth and another, a young girl, um, suspected of committing suicide. Now, according to the Jamaica Observer, police are now at the scene of a murder in Gaysland near Nain in St. Elizabeth, where a man was shot by a gunman early yesterday evening. A resident said that shortly after 7 p.m., the man was inside a restaurant when a gunman dressed in a woody entered the business establishment. It is reported that the gunman opened fire, hitting the man multiple times. The gunman then fled the scene. The deceased is said to be from Littis District, a community on the Manchester St. Elizabeth border. Now, when you see incidents like these, clearly, maybe this man was marked for death. This man was either pointed out, if it's a contract killing, or this man had some issue, issues with people and they decide to take him out like that. For him to be in the restaurant, if it, it's either his hangout spot or he was trailed there or someone made a call that he was there. And we have seen in Jamaica, especially the last couple of weeks, how many persons have lost their lives. Recently, I think up to yesterday, another woman lost her life in Clarendon. And I consistently say, these killers are nothing but big cowards because they target the vulnerable. The last update we have as it relates to the children that were attacking Havana Heights in Clarendon is that the three-year-old is still battling for life while the others are remaining in hospital still. And we haven't heard anything. These so-called people calling themselves human rights. We haven't heard anything from them. Because what we have seen in Jamaica is a group of people defending the killers. Calling themselves human rights. We haven't seen any group formulate in Jamaica to defend the rights of the victim. So many children are battling depression this morning. When they should be smiling, getting themselves geared up to receive gift on Christmas morning from their parents. But instead, some of them will be mourning because the father is going to be absent. The mother is going to be absent because their life were taken away from them by these cowards. And it hurt my heart so much when we have peep groups in Jamaica defending the, the killers. Oh, it shouldn't be eye for an eye. It shouldn't be this. But yet still, the victims are being traumatized. Their family have been disoriented. Their family is, dis is distressed in times like this. Because their parents or their breadwinner was taken away from them. Their child was murdered. Their child is in the hospital suffering from gunshot wounds. And yet still... These sellout people calling themselves human rights groups are sitting one side lobbying for these criminals. And while I know that the criminal lawyers, that's how they make their money. But some of these cases, they don't deserve to back these criminals. These criminals should just go to court, find guilty, and then we call the young man right away. Or we put them away for good. But yet still... We have persons killing people out on bail, living lavish lifestyle, just the same, like nothing happened. Jamaica is in a sad state. And we hope and pray that the day will come when changes will be made. A lot of persons are in the diaspora willing to invest in Jamaica, willing to go back home. But when they see the news, it hurts. They are scared. A lot of persons are scared. Sometimes I have to be telling people, no, it's not as how it seems. However, they, they are seeing it themselves. 
some people saying, oh, all your report is bad. But at the end of the day, these are the news coming out and you have to let people know what's taking place. Well, there's a bit of news, a sad story where a 14-year-old girl is suspected to have committed suicide at her home in Makuxpen in St. Catherine on Friday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as Rihanna Campbell, a student of Inzod High School in St. Catherine. Reports reaching the observer that the teenager was found by a family member hanging from the ceiling of her bedroom at about 1 p.m. An alarm was raised and the police was alerted to the area. The body was later removed to the morgue pending a post-mortem. Family members and relatives are said to be shaken by the incident as Rihanna was described as a quiet child. When you have children and they are quiet, you have to make sure you follow them up. Because when they are quiet, most times they are going through things and they will not speak because that's their persona. You have to know your child and know when something is not right. You see funny movements, you see isolation, you have to be careful because that's the time when all type of things go through their brain. Now, it is so sad because we are living in a very spooky times where, I mean, things is happening, crime, corona, people have been disenchanted, people lives have been disrupted. Um, you know, it's coming down to the Christmas season where families are normally bond together you know so many things could have been going through this young girl mind and you know sometimes when you see kids being isolated you have to go put an arm around them talk to them so they can talk to somebody when they can't get anybody to talk to things like these happen and we hope the family will be comforted we hope the ministry of education will send their grief counseling persons to Inzud and to the family of young rihanna campbell and from my opinion TV this morning, I'm sending my own condolence to that family. It's sad that this Christmas will be mourning for them. No Rihanna Campbell around. And, you know, sometimes all it takes is just a conversation and things could have been avoided. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe, look out for the children, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one, and most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.